Hello everybody and welcome to my review of The Mandalorian Chapter 4 titled Sanctuary. And this one is developed, or developed, directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. We've seen her in Jurassic Park and probably see her in a new uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> and uh, I, guess, I think this is her first directorial debut, or first directorial directing, yeah, I couldn't say direction, directing the debut. This is her directing debut. There, got it. Couldn't say it. So, so let's see. Uh, let's see how this episode turns out, shall we? So we start off with the Mandalorian. He's flying in the ship with Baby Yoda, of course, and Baby Yoda's being cute as always, because that's Baby Yoda. He's cute. They should just call him Cute Baby Yoda. And they they're going to find a planet to uh, hide because, well, he's being chased by probably every bounty hunter in the sector. <laughs> the last episode showed that everyone's after him. And luckily, his uh, brothers and sisters came by and helped him out so to get him to safety. Now, I'm sure they'd probably have to go hide, too. But So he finds a planet, <clears throat> and he lands on this planet and heads to this bar with Baby Yoda because Baby Yoda doesn't want to stay on the ship. <laughs> Baby, Baby Yoda's like, now nah, I'm coming with you. So uh, he's, it's like he's stuck to his side. You know, it's pretty cool. It's like a little... little <laughs> It, the, the image is great with seeing the Mandalorian standing on his ship just standing there and Baby Yoda next to him it's fantastic looking so they go to this uh, b uh, little bar and it was kind of cool they had that cat from the Rebels that it kind of like hissed at Baby Yoda and that was really neat to see that it was like a little you know little shout out to the to Rebels uh, St Star Wars Rebels that was the animated series so he sits down and he looks over and he sees Gina Carano's character Cara Dune and He's keeping an eye on her, and then she disappears. So he goes out to try to find her, and they get into a fight. And a pretty good fight, by the way. And that's that was that's something interesting. I'll talk about it a little bit later, the fight. So, and anyways, they make up. Not before a, another cute Baby Yoda scene. I think it's it's mandatory for all these <laughs> these episodes to have Baby Yoda just be cute and everything. Do, do something cute. And he, he, and he delivers every single time. So anyways... They make up. They're hanging out in the bar now, and basically, Cardoon tells her, "Look, look, this is my planet. This is where I'm hiding out. So you need to find another one." So they go to they go to find another planet to go hide on, which drives me crazy. That 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 thing there. There's a whole planet to hide on, <laughs> and he can't hide on this planet with her. He can go. He can't go on the other side. Anyways, <laughs> so as he's getting ready to leave, these farmers come up and they need his help. Because what had happened was, at the beginning, they, they don't see it, but, at, well, yeah, you do see it. Right at the beginning of the episode, there is a farm, and it's being attacked by this Marauders. And these Marauders are, I swear, I swear, the first time I saw them, I said, they're orcs from Lord of the Rings. I mean, I mean I'm looking at them like they're orcs. So, <laughs> these farmers come up to them and tell them, we need help, these, uh, these orcs, I'm going to call them orcs. They keep, they keep, they they're attacking our village, taking our our supplies, and hurting our people. And Mandalorian at first isn't interested, but then he finds out it's in the middle of nowhere, so that's perfect. He can go hide. So he goes finds Cara Doom, character, and basically gives the money that the farmers gave him, gives it to her. Says you're hired. Come on, come with me. She, so she reluctantly goes, and they go to this farm, and there are a bunch of farmers there, and so they're going to do a they they scout the area. Him. Uh, Mandalorian and Cara Doom. They re they find these giant tracks, and come to find out it's an ATST, an all-terrain vehicle from uh basically from the uh, Empire. Which is another question I'm gonna have a little bit later. So they go back to the, the farm and they're basically telling these people, no, 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 we are out of here. We're not fighting this thing. And they they go please, and they're like, okay. <laughs> just like that, I swear, that's exactly what happens. Don't leave us! And, okay, we'll help. So, <laughs> I was like, man, it didn't, it didn't take too long to twist their arm. I mean, just say, please! You know, so, anyways, they help, and they 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 help train. Of course, you have to have a montage. It seems like there's montages in every episode, so you have a training montage. But before this happens, the Mandalorian, does anyone, or I think it was or card, one of them asked, does anyone know how to shoot? And the Widow who helped the Mandalorian uh, find a place, they gave, uh, picked up a place for him, sheepishly holds up her hands, I do. So they show the montage of them training and all the people shooting, and they're all shooting like poop, except her. She is hitting the target over and over, ding, 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 ding. I mean, over and over and over, not missing once. Okay. 
so she can shoot. And that's something else I'll talk about a little later. Anyways, so they continue on the montage. And now, I guess, now that they go through the montage, you all know how to fight. <laughs> I mean, that's the way it works, right? And all the shows that once you have a montage, okay, now you're properly trained and you know how to do whatever you were being trained to do in the montage. So, anyways, Cardoon and the Mandalorian head out to provoke the Marauders slash Orcs. So, they find a camp and they provoke. Boy, do they provoke. Great fight scenes, too, by the way. And they the ATST, sure enough, starts chasing them. And, and which is crazy that the ST ATST can't catch up. <laughs> These things have huge strides. Now I'm thinking maybe because the force is slowing it down. I don't know. Maybe. So they they head back and they somehow they outrun it, and they get to the the camp, uh, the camp and they have this b- barricade all set up. So they they set themselves up waiting for this ATST. Now they dug up a pit, a giant pit, and it's in the water. I don't know how they did it. And I guess they filled it with water, I'm guessing. So they, they dug this pit. And it's full of water. And they're trying to lure this ATST into it. So the ATST comes barreling out of the forest. And it stops right on the edge where the water is. That also kind of irks me. Why did he stop there? I mean, he's just looking around, you know. just And so they provoke it. They start shooting at it. And they're trying to make it come towards them. And then Cara Dune's character, she runs towards the ATSD and she keeps shooting and shooting and trying to bring it bring it down sure enough it, I guess it gets pissed off enough that it takes a few steps and into the water it goes the man Lauren comes running up throws a bomb inside it and boom blows it up I guess it was easier to destroy than they had previously said to the farmers so they they take care of the Mars we're all I'll take all take off after the the farmers surprisingly fight amazingly well and hold them off, and they take off, I guess, never to return. So now it's a day or so later, and the Mandalorian is thinking about leaving, and she wants him to stay. It's a lovey-dovey thing. And meanwhile, there is a bounty hunter on the planet and is now in the woods aiming his gun towards the Mandalorian. And then he looks over, and he sees the Baby Yoda, so he aims at Baby Yoda, and then you hear a gunshot. And Mandalorian's looking around, you know, telling the lady to check the kids. Well, then you find out Cara Dune killed the bounty hunter. Bounty hunter didn't see her pop up behind her, and she shot him in the back. Again, how did she know he was there? <laughs> That's another thing that kind of bothered me. But, it's okay. No big deal. So, they realize they gotta get going. He he was considering staying there, but and I don't think he was going to. I mean, from from the interactions between him and the widow, or the widow, and after that shot, he was, he obviously was gonna leave Baby Yoda there, and Baby Yoda was going to stay there and be happy. But, you know, Kara was saying, I don't think this is good. I, you know, he's going to be heartbroken. But it was a safer area. But now we find out it's not safe. Because somehow the bounty hunter tracked Baby Yoda. How did he track Baby Yoda? That's that's a great question. I mean, is, is it his DNA? or I mean, because I, I don't think it's on him. So, hmm, very curious. So they take off out off the planet. Kara Dune takes off on her own. They separate. They go separate ways. I believe they're going to see each other again down the road. I believe. So we'll see more. We'll learn more about our character. So basically, that's the end of the show. They they it's it's a it's a it's an episode you've seen before in other movies. Seven Samurai is one of them. You know, uh, the Magnificent Seven is another one. Uh, and in a in a way, uh, what was it? Godless is another one. Kind of that way too. That's something you really should check out. By the way, if you guys haven't seen it, go. It's I think it's on Netflix. Check out Godless. It is awesome. Great western. Great western. Anyways, so that was the end of the episode. And the things I disliked. We're gonna start with that. Uh, I disliked the fight scene. Not 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 the fight scene in general because it was a great fight scene. Look, and that <laughs> that's another part of the fight scene that bothers me. When when the Mandalorian is tracking her and he, he's using this like infrared to check the check her tracks. So he's following her tracks and also the tracks end. Immediately I went, he's above her or she's above him. She yeah, she's above him. <laughs> how did he not know that immediately? I knew immediately. So it brings the question, how has he survived this long if he's that good? Then I immediately went, above, above you, look above you, and sure enough, she jumps down. Now, the fight scene was pretty cool, except for one thing. She's punching him in the face, but not the face because he has a helmet on. 
Plus, he has armor on, and she's punching him. This is supposed to be Beskar, the strongest metal known, I guess. Super, super, super tough. And she's punching. Shouldn't her hand be busting and breaking, and, and or her going, ouch, or <laughs> something? To put, put it in perspective, have you ever seen a fight in football where they're punching each other in a helmet? Nothing is happening! These guys are huge guys, over 200 pounds usually, beating the snot out of each other, punching each other in the helmet. Nothing. Nothing. So this is, the, the, he should be standing there going, this isn't hurting me. You're, <laughs> you're just wasting your time. I didn't understand that part. Now, the fight scene was cool. It was a good fight scene. It was really good, especially at the end when they're both laying there and they're pointing the gun at each other. <laughs> and they hear a noise and they both look over and Baby Yoda's in there eating, watching the fight. That was very funny. Uh, so that didn't make sense. But it was cool, though, you know, the fight. But again, the punching thing, that bothered me. That really, really, really bothered me. The shooting scene. With the widow, that bothered me. She, everyone's missing like by a mile, and she's just just nailing, ding 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 ding, over and over and over again. And I'm I'm like, what? And now my brother's watching it with me, and he's like, well, she'll explain how she can do that, and she never did. Now that bothers me. Another thing they could have did, she could have missed a couple times. Seriously, if she's that good, what is she doing as a farmer? I'd like some backstory, please. I'd like to know how come she can shoot so well. That, that would be awesome. Now, maybe down the road, we'll, we'll find something out. Because that could explain a lot. I mean, all, all I had to do was work to learn to shoot that. I wish you could say, I went hunting with my father all the time, and he shot, taught me how to shoot. No, that's it. Oh, what, it takes five seconds, maybe? That would have been great. I want to know how she could shoot like that. It bothered the crap out of me. Okay, another thing that bothered me. The ATST. So, they say they, they can't, you can't stop this thing. Not, there's no way we can stop this thing. we got to get out of here. But they stopped it. Now... You do remember in Return of the Jedi, the Jawa stopped them with spears and logs. So that kind of threw me when they said they couldn't stop it. We got to get out of here. So that bothered me about that. And they ended up figuring out how to stop it. It was really funny when it, it, it got changed so fast. When they said, we can't stop it. Please stay. Okay, we're going to take care of the ATSD. You guys take care of the Marauders. It was like, wait a minute. You guys just said. Did you, I mean, so you, okay. So, the ATSD, when it got onto the right on the, the edge of the forest, when it's sitting there and it's looking and no one's moving, it's, it's like looking around with this big old light, this spotlight. Couldn't it just start shooting from where it was at? I mean, those guns weren't going to do anything. So, it just start blowing up the, 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 the town or the, the village. I, I don't understand why it didn't do that. And another thing, why didn't, why didn't it keep going? There's no way it would have known there was a pit there. There's no way. I mean, so that kind of bothered me. So, <laughs> I said again, I just, it's just the funniest thing seeing that ATS just standing there, not moving. Why didn't it, I don't know. Anyways, but honestly, those dislikes are kind of nitpicky. They're not, they don't, I like the show, so that's very nitpicky. Now, what did I like about the show? Can you take a wild guess? Baby Yoda, yeah, especially right at the beginning when they're, when he's flicking these things, these, uh, these switches on his, on his, on his ship, and he goes, don't touch anything, and <laughs> Baby Yoda stares right at him, and flitches another one, <laughs> flicks another one, that was so funny, and when he says, stay here, don't move, and when the door opens, he's standing there, and there's Baby Yoda right next to him, says, come on, that was hilarious, or when they, when they were fighting, the Baby Yoda's sitting there at the end of the fight, just staring and watching the whole fight, or when Baby Yoda's eating a frog, and all the kids are watching it, and then he just spits out the frog, again, Baby Yoda steals the show, because Baby Yoda is awesome. So that was one of the things, of course, I like. And how, who doesn't like him? I like Gina Carano's character. I, her acting is okay. Nothing special. But she's good. And I like her backstory. I mean, we know why she can fight. And she held her own against the Mandalorian. That, that she is a shock commando. And she knows that. And plus, Gina Carano is not a small woman. She is not fat at all. She is built. Not, not in, in a bodybuilder way, but she's built. So when she fights somebody, you can tell. You know, she can fight. And I saw her fight. I remember watching her fight when she first, when she was doing MMA. So the woman can fight. You know, you don't want to tangle with her. That is for sure. So it's it's very believable watching her fight than watching Batwoman fight who looks like a twig. Ruby Rose is a twig. There's no way she should be able to do with the things she does. But Gina Carano, you can believe because she's awesome. Gina Carano. And so I like the character. I think hopefully down the line, there, I think she's going to make a return eventually down the road. That would be cool. You know, i like to see more of it. You know, some people think they knew each other. I don't see that. I don't see how they knew each other. It didn't look like they knew each other. 
But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misread that. So, so uh, overall, I enjoyed the episode. Uh, it's not my favorite episode. I think this of all the episodes ranked all the top four, this was my bottom one. Doesn't mean I disliked it. I did like the episode. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. You know, I did not did not like that shooting thing where they didn't. She just can do that, and no, no. Just tell me how she can do it. Hopefully, down the line they'll they'll be able to do that. You know, that's and the punching thing was just silly, but. I did like the episode. I mean, if I, again, you have to rank these episodes. I'm going to rank that as my bottom one so far. You know, but it wasn't a bad. And again, this is sort a story I've seen before many times in other shows and movies. So okay, I've seen this before. But for uh, Brie, La- uh, Brie Larson, <laughs> for Bryce Dallas Howard, a nice, very nice start to her directing. I guess, I'm pretty sure it was her directing debut, but it was very nice. It was very good. I enjoyed it. I, I, I she did a good job, and. I enjoyed watching the show. It was again, this show keeps keeps you know doing well. Even even like I said, this is the this is my bottom show of the four. This is my fourth r- ranked show, and I liked it. So that that goes to show. This is a really good show, and I'm enjoying it. And everyone I know is enjoying. It. My brother was gonna not watch it. He was gonna binge watch it. He's gonna I'm gonna binge watch. It. I saw the first couple episodes. I'm gonna binge watch the rest of it. He couldn't do it. He goes, I gotta keep watching. I have to keep watching. It's too good. And we're halfway through. There's only four more episodes. <sighs> Four more episodes, <laughs> man. So I'm I'm looking forward to them. You know they're already doing the second season, so that's great. So uh, so what you guys think? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? I hope you did. I mean, again, I again I had my little nitpicks here and there. And, you know, and it is my bottom four, the the fourth ranked show, but I still enjoyed the show. I enjoyed watching it. You know, and it's it's a good show, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, tell me what you thought. If you, you know, I'd love to hear from y'all. All right, thanks again, and I do appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you again here on another review of The Mandalorian. Thanks again. I'll see y'all around. Bye-bye.